get. But for one woman, things got a little out of hand when she used the bathroom on her first date. It didn't flush. Lucky for us, she tweeted the whole ordeal. Check out this. Once upon a time, a woman was having a good time on a first date, so she went back to his place. She tweeted, I'm a confident, calm and self-assured woman, so I felt comfortable pooping in his toilet. <laughs> this was a mistake. His toilet did not flush. I panicked and flushed it a million times. I was really frantic because I'd been in there for too long. Oh, fuck. There was only one single piece of poop, so in that moment, I got toilet paper and removed the one piece of poop from the toilet. <laughs> what do I do with it now? <laughs> so, making another horrible decision, I wrapped it in multiple <coughs> layers of toilet paper and I put it in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> now what? We were sitting there on his couch and kissing and all I can think of is this piece of poop in my purse. After a few hours her date used his washroom and she heard the toilet flush so I brought my purse, <laughs> unwrapped the poop, put it in and by the grace of God it worked. That's quite, a that's quite a story. We've all been there when the toilet overflows and it won't flush but I don't know if I'll grab something. Well yeah, I mean right? Anyone here would reach in the toilet and grab? You would! <laughs> I have three boys. I have fished many things out of toilets and I've carried dirty diapers in my bag all day, but never my own poop. Never your and certainly not the first but in a moment of desperation and he notices the your poop. Like, I'm just thinking, what do you do? You either have to tell him or you remove it. The biggest issue is this. Do you mean go on and say, excuse me, but I left a floater in the bathroom? I hope you don't want You can't not say anything. It's okay, worse. Okay, but, but, let's talk about this medically because we are doctors. So, she didn't have gloves on. She reaches in. I know she used a piece of tissue. tissue. Reaches in and grabs that log. <laughs> it was just one. Like, I I hate to say this, but she is going to have some remnants of feces on her hands. I mean, or whatever was in the toilet. And then she's going out there and she's like, ooh. I love you so much. Ooh. Like, her hands are probably on his face. Like, I, I'm sorry, in that scenario. Well, when you're wiping your... When you're wiping yourself, you're putting your hand close to I, it. I use, I don't wipe with my you, fingers. You like your toilet paper. And in my case, I'm married for nearly 30 years. If I have something I'm really proud of, I go, come on, hun, check this one out. Uh-oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh I think we're going to have to call the plumber on this one. Okay. <laughs> what about farting in front of your partner? Oddie, what do you think? Well, uh, I think it's unrealistic to say it's never going to happen. <laughs> I'm not one of those uh, guys, you know, that just farts all the time. You know those boys who are just like, Yeah, I can play it two ways! Look, I can multitask, talk and fart. Woohoo! Put your head under the bed, smell that! No, I'm not one of those. But I think it's inevitable. I think you probably do you get to a certain state. My girlfriend has not done it in front of me in two and a half years. You just sit here with me. I know if I were you to have a fart, I've perfected it. So that if I've been at a meeting, for example, with a lot of people in the theatre, or something has really upset me, I make sure that I get into the lift with them. And then I let off a silent, <laughs> but deadly. And then I just get off at any floor and leave them with a cloud of chemical gas, knowing that I've won the encounter. Vile, Fanula, you're vile. <laughs> have you any stories, Grania, that you wouldn't tell anybody else? You have some stories to tell, that's for sure. I do, yeah. Now? Um, yeah. My son had made it to the hospital. He made it to the hospital and went to the hospital and so on. And Roseanne was there. And Roseanne was breaking her heart crying. I said, don't worry, Roseanne, says I, he's going to make it. He's alive, says I, he's alive. So I was in the ward and about, about 20 minutes after that, this doctor comes out and he says, he said, who's the lad with the gold bracelet on his hand, he says. I said, he's mine. I own him, I said, he's mine, because he had boxing gloves and that. I said, he's mine. I own him, I said. And he said.
says, we've lost him. I said, no, you sausage hide, he's in that door, I says. I didn't understand what that meant, you know what I mean? Sure, sure. He said, we've lost him. I said, listen, sausage, go in that door, I says. He's in that door. No, he says, your son is gone. So I, he says, I, he says, you've lost him, he's gone. Says I, I said, he's in there, how can you lose him and he be gone, I said. So he said, no, your son is, um, he's dead. I said, right. Anyhow, and I said, go in. And Roseanne's in, Roseanne's on top of him. And roaring and shouting. To a lot of people, what I'm going to say now might be disgusting and all that there. He's my legacy. Put everyone to his own opinion. He's my child, you know. I mean, I bred him to bury me, not me to bury him. And his leg, the bone of his leg was out. And there was old guts in that there. You know what I mean now? And I see Roseanne kissing parts of him, on top of him, screaming, shouting. So I said, right, I'm going to drink a bit of his blood now because I love him. I'm going to bury my son and I'll have nothing left of him. But if I drink some of his blood, I'll have him inside me. His blood will be my blood. His blood is going to mix with my bloodstream. And I did. I, I went down and I, I ate it. I ate some of it, you know what I mean then? To you it might be disgusting, but your child is never disgusting. You know what I mean then? So I, I, I ate some of it, and then, and then the doctor pulled me out then, and then there was just shouting and roaring, and his leg was all bandaged up then, so I couldn't. But I didn't mind then because I had some of him inside me. So I knew no matter when my son was dead, I still got him inside my blood. Wow. Thanks for that, Gronny. I know that was very hard for you. Yeah. Thanks for that, Gronny. Now, I am genuinely interested in this discussion because it is something I've had the problem with since having my children and that is... <coughs> oh, okay. She said piles. 